Hi, I'm Lauren Sapa with This Week in Santa Clarita, and today we're going to be talking about the 2013 Cowboy Festival. Each year, Santa Clarita's rich Western heritage takes center stage at the Cowboy Festival, and this year marks the 20th anniversary of the celebratory event. Joining me today is Mike Fleming, Cowboy Festival Director and Arts and Events Supervisor, to talk more about the 2013 Cowboy Festival and how the city is gearing up for the 20th anniversary. So Mike, I understand tickets are now on sale. How do guests go about purchasing those? Uh, yeah, they started on sale last week on uh, January 2nd, and they can go online to cowboyfestival.org, or they can uh, call us at 661-250-3735, or they can fax in their orders. And ticket sales have been going great this first week. Oh, that's great. Can you give us a quick preview of what guests can expect at the Cowboy Festival? Well, as always, it's held at Melody Ranch Motion Picture Studio, and uh, that really is one of the main selling points about this event. There's, there's lots of cowboy gatherings around the country, uh, but none are held in a venue like Melody Ranch. And of course, people who are familiar with Melody Ranch would know that uh, the old favorites like Gunsmoke back in the 50s and 60s were filmed there. But more recently, Deadwood and uh, Django Unchained, uh, Tarantino's new film, have been filmed there. So that setting alone is the hallmark of why people come from all over the country. Actually, Canada and England as well. We have people from all over coming to see it. Oh, wow. Who are some notable performers coming, returning to the festival? And what are some new offerings for the 20th anniversary? Well, we're really excited as far as the performers go. Of course, we have some of our perennial favorites that are going to show up. But uh, the Riders in the Sky, we haven't had them for 8 to 10 years, I believe. And they have been doing Western music for nigh on 30 years now, uh, keeping it alive during the years when nobody knew what it was. Uh, they, they're Grammy Award winners. They did some of the music for one of the Toy Story films. Uh, they're absolutely hilarious. Uh, one of the funniest groups I've ever watched perform, and we're very excited to have them back. They're performing on Saturday, April 20th. Uh, they're also doing a special show on Saturday night at the Hart Mansion that's a ticketed event. And then uh, one of my all-time favorites, uh, cowboy poet Baxter Black. Uh, I consider him the Mark Twain of our generation. He's the most successful living poet in any genre uh, in the world, and uh, he travels year-round performing for audiences all over the country in Canada. A uh, very funny man as well. We haven't seen him in three or four years, so that's going to be nice to have him back. Don Edwards and the Sons of the San Joaquin are back. One of my favorite groups in the world is Hot Club of Cowtown. They take that Bob Wills music and swing and they infuse it with a little gypsy feel. Uh, and they are touring all over. Uh, just recently they were in Ireland and England touring there. So we're really happy to have them back. <clears throat> we have the Saddle Cats, another great swing band. Uh, we also have a new girl called Kristen Harris out of Texas. Uh, she's 17 years old and can just sing up a storm. Uh, very happy to have her. Can you tell us about some preliminary events taking place leading up to the days at Melody Ranch? Well, sure. There's um, they're what we call community partner events. They're outside of Melody Ranch. People need to know that there's nothing happening at Melody Ranch on the Thursday the 18th, as a, ma uh, as a matter of course. We do have a film tour that day. That's a coach tour that's going to go all the way around Santa Clarita Valley and touch on many of the uh, famous sites where movies were filmed. Uh, there's also on Thursday night, there's a census event, which is our monthly event that we have in New Hall, uh, but it's cowboy themed. Uh, it's going to be dancing and there's going to be vendors and food. It's going to be great. And Cowboy Couture, which is a fashion show that's uh, uh, going to be their third year back doing it at the Repertory East Playhouse. Very popular event as well. Uh, Friday, we've got Sourdough Slim doing a show out at Rancho Camulos, which is just a wonderful example of early California history. Uh, we'll also have a walking tour of the Walk of Western Stars in Newhall. Uh, Friday night, we've got our Melody Ranch movie night. They're showing The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, which was one of my favorites when I was a kid. John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart, Lee Marvin, all starring in that. Uh, it's a nice dinner and show right on the main street of Melody Ranch. So just to reiterate, how can guests purchase tickets and when is the festival taking place? Well, the dates of the festival are April 18th through the 21st, 2013 at Melody Ranch Motion Picture Studio. And people can buy tickets online. That's probably the easiest way at cowboyfestival.org. Or they can call our ticket line, which is 661-250-3735, Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. There'll be somebody manning the phones. Or they can fax in their ticket orders as well. 
Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mike. My pleasure. To learn more about the 2013 Cowboy Festival, visit cowboyfestival.org.